Hey guys, uh, Joey here. <laughs> I was just gonna head home after doing my Kickstarter reviews uh, today, but I wanted to touch up on something that we, it's, it's part of our video. If you wanna see more about me talking specifically about this game, Vampire Syndicate, uh, you should see a little bit later, probably because this will end up processing quicker, the full Kickstarter review video. And I, I launched into quite a, a bit of a rant about this game, but I need to, to discuss this because this is one of the reasons we do Kickstarter reviews on our channel is to expose potential scams. And we found a pretty big one, one that had, as you can see here, funded in six hours, which is pretty crazy. And I think that people are getting scammed. And that's my opinion. Um, I understand that this might uh, create a bit of a controversy with the developer who has made games, who has games on Steam. They're sold. They even have pretty good reviews. I'm not here to talk about those games or talk about his ability to make games. But I do want to say that there are enough red flags in Vampire Syndicate that the average viewer looking at, may, looking at it may not notice. But a, a developer, especially an Unreal developer like myself, can spot numerous problems with this. And I'm going to kind of breeze through the, the trailer here for you. Again, I don't have a script for this. I'm not going to edit it. So I'm just going to kind of do it off the cuff just to show you how quickly I can kind of spot these things and why you, you will take a look at this game. And if you don't know anything about game dev, you might be pretty interested in this or might be pretty surprised and impressed by this. Don't be. Uh, you are getting fooled. This has happened before with the, the day before. Any, any gamer who's been on Steam this year knows full well what happened with the day before. Well, let's jump into this and I will, uh, I'm going to fill you in on this. Right away, we see this beautiful cyberpunk. And note, none of this is AI, but it is an asset pack. All of it, all the cyberpunk thing you see here is an asset pack. These are asset packs. I can even prove it. Uh, I'm going to be using Orbital Market, which is an alternate marketplace for the Unreal Marketplace. It's just more responsive, but it's the exact same item. So just know this is a like a like using an alternate way to search the, the Unreal Marketplace. And we're just going to look up Cyberpunk. Gigapack, $350. I don't know if this has ever been on sale, but I can tell you for sure. You see that building, Omega? <laughs> yeah, you see it? starting to make sense now i will say this right at the front using asset packs using assets buying assets buying systems it does not mean that your game is a scam it does not mean that your game is bad pretty much every developer does it uh, it's a very quick way to augment your development and you don't have to like go outsource some i don't know some city trash right some street trash that you want to fill an alleyway with but that overusing it can be a bit of a red flag it can indicate that you don't either have the money or you don't have the ability to do something yourself and for prototyping you know this is where you you build a prototype for your game to then sell to a publisher or something right you say hey look this is kind of representative of our game here's some some bare bone systems we made here's what it's going to look like at the end of the game uh, at the end of production that's fine right that's what it's meant for it's meant for quickly rapidly prototyping and by god this pack looks good for 350 dollars this looks pretty damn good uh, i i have no complaints about this just know that's what you're seeing here that's all you're seeing and you're going to be able to you're going to see a lot of npcs being used in very clever positions uh just idling idling remember Take a look at what the gameplay is. Don't look at the standing around, the player walking. This is just the third person and first person templates for players uh, in Unreal. This is all baked in. You can load up a Unreal project in a few minutes with um, this kind of camera work and character movement. Character customization like this, this is really easy to do and this is all just this is default text in Unreal with default buttons, default uh, font. It, it's really nothing special. You can buy things like these. I don't know if this is a specific one or a handmade one. And anything that I can find in the marketplace, I will specifically say uh, that I don't know if this was handmade or not. 
I doubt this is what's being used here. No, this, this actually looks even better. So, you know, it's maybe that something like this was made. You never really know at this point. There's tons of assets, and it's really hard to determine if a specific one has been used or not. Arguably, a lot of these look better than what you'd find in this game at the moment. So even if so, this is really not anything complex. This isn't anything to do. As long as you have the models, you know where to stick them, you know which bones to attach them to. Easy peasy. And it's possible that this cyber character probably came with all of these different helmets and, and things to wear. And so switching these out is just pressing a button, switching out the mesh. It's attached to the same bone. It's no big deal. Okay, notice your first person exploration and interaction. Where's the interaction? We know the cyberpunk alleyways, already shown that. Third person, again, that's all just built into Unreal. Here's the one that I think will stump a lot of people. You see this tactical turn-based combat, and you're like, oh shit, okay, it has combat. So we run around the city, we engage in combat with NPCs. That's what the game is. Let me show you something. Take quick note of, especially this bottom panel, this bottom info panel. Where is the panel? Here it is. Uh, it's zooming in a bit much. Sorry about that. Let me see if we can open up that into a different tab. There's our bottom panel. There's our end turn. This is another purchase pack. The developer didn't make this. And again, I will say, I'll reiterate, utilizing these things is not necessarily a problem. But I have to look at a pattern of red flags that I see in somebody developing a game. This is a pattern of red flags. Now I know they're not making the assets themselves. They're not making the characters or the animations. They're not making the combat. So you have to ask yourself, what are they making themselves? These mechs, I mean, I don't know if I could find them. It's There's a lot of stuff on the marketplace. Maybe this is on there. Maybe this is sold somewhere else. I cannot say for sure. D4, I don't know. There's, I know there was a modular, actually there was a modular mech pack recently. I don't know if this was part of it. Recently I have seen a modular mech pack. But again, at this point, I've seen enough red flags personally that I don't know. I, I now can't prove whether or not things are legitimate or not legitimate. This is called into question for me. And also, this is doing nothing. Just remember, this is doing nothing. This is walking. It is moving. A character holding a sword. Not gameplay. Now, yes, you could always attach animation events to these so that when a, a sword hits a certain point, it can call an animation for hitting a, an NPC and doing some damage. But getting to this stage is easy. Getting to that stage requires work, and we have not seen proof of that yet. Reloading animations, firing animations, again, all easy. All these can be sourced from somewhere. You have the money, you can get it. Another asset pack, I'm sure. I think I actually even saw this nun somewhere. Werewolves. I mean, at this point, who the, who the hell knows? <laughs> That's some of these. They could also be part of packs which is usually the cost-efficient way of purchasing these things. 
She might even be called a nun. Looking up horror packs, though, is very challenging, especially for players. Or for characters, I'm sorry. And you never know where these are pulled from. Or creatures. Let's see, maybe we can find it. UE5, bloody none. Not finding it here, but uh, doesn't mean that it isn't somewhere. It's all the same. It's just you're walking into characters that are just standing there. A werewolf. I mean, maybe that'll be a bit easier to find. Potentially, but there are a lot of werewolf. Maybe. Well, it kind of matches up. Nah, tail's too long here. Ooh. Hold the phone. Come on. That's looking more like it, especially the tail. Yeah, you know what? I think that might be. Oh, I need to see the eye. Oh, yeah, the glowing red eyes. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so we found that one. And that probably includes the animations, right? Let's see. Yeah, we might even see the, oh, yep, we see the stalking animation. There it is. And it did the howl. Where's that one? A good pack for 30 bucks. It's a good werewolf pack. Gotta be said. Oh, there it is. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the perfect sleuth. I can't find everything, but I, I promise you, if you dig down deep enough, I would even take a, a good bet that nothing that you're looking at, none of these characters, are made by the creator. These are all purchased from assets. They're all sourced from assets, either some for free, some for paid. They're all. This, I mean, I don't know. I've never seen any Egyptian, but I've never looked for any Egyptian um, asset packs. It's maybe one of these, uh, maybe this one? Th those two have the same pillars. Those pillars look, oh, yep, here it is. This is the mural, 20 bucks. <sighs> um, the golden stat, I mean, I don't know. I, I can look up golden. Chinese golden statue or something, but I don't know if I can find I don't know the name of those specifically. I don't know the name of those those kinds of statues. There was that dungeon too earlier, but I don't know. It's like looking up medieval dungeon. There's so many of these. It could be any number of these. Especially there's like these mega bundles for 400 bucks. And there's tons of stuff here. 
It could be any of these modular dungeon kits. Yeah, I don't know. Oops. I'd have to take a deeper, deeper look into that one specifically. I'm sure it's sourced. I'm sure it's sourced somewhere. Hmm, statues, statues. They're animated statues. This is like some house. I mean, there looks like there's, I don't even know. I could look up like Victorian mansion or something. Maybe it's one of these. Seek a mansion, Victorian mansion. Oh man, it's just, there's so much. And this is kind of the danger too, is that, you know, I'm, a, I'm an Unreal developer. I can kind of spot certain things or I've, I've seen certain assets somewhere, uh, but there's just so much that you'll never see. Yep, this is it. This is the one. Yep, there it is. As you can see here. Different, uh, different angle, but that's the same room. Obviously no statues. I don't know where the statues were, were obtained from. And just remember, this is exactly, 100% exactly how the day before was made. And it was how you gamers were scammed. Just with money. With a few thousand dollars, you can go on Unreal's Marketplace, you can buy all the stuff, you can throw it in, and you can trick people into thinking it's a game. And there's, there's a lot of stuff here that I can't find that's in this trailer that I know has come from an asset pack. I know it has. I just can't find it. Like those statues, I don't know. They could be from any pack. They could even be from a pack that isn't about statues. It could be something entirely different. And it's just sometimes hard to find. Let's keep going. We're only two and a half minutes through. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> How do you even look for this? I don't know, some horror acid pack. That one would be tough to track down, but I, I could probably do it given enough time. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's some interior shots. I don't know if it's specifically a cyberpunk interior, but there's definitely an interior shot here that is being used and uh, a lot of characters from different packs thrown in because you can tell that they just don't, they don't have anything in common. They have nothing in common. You could look up cyberpunk characters. I'm sure that some of them, some of them will be spottable. Like I think we saw this one earlier, the cyberpunk runner. Actually, that's, that's him right here. That is the cyberpunk runner. <laughs> Fuck me. God damn it. <laughs> And I'm sure if we look closely enough, a lot of these are being used here. You just have to track them down. Oh, yep, actually the Cyberpunk Mercenary is right here. That's this one with the, uh, the red strap across. And this chick, a little hard to see. Maybe she appears for Cyberpunk characters, I don't know. Ah, uh, that's not her. There's a lot of characters, a lot of characters, a lot of character packs. And some of them will have multiple outfit options too, so, you know, it, it may be hard to recognize them at first, especially if you can't see the face. Just again, it's like, buyer beware. Buyer beware here. Oh, look, somebody else just backed it. Oh, this is a good one. IT office group. I'll show you this one. Give me a second. Let's, let's start with the arcade. I haven't looked at this one up, so let's see if the arcade was, was pulled from somewhere too. Oh, uh, that's characters. Classic arcade starter pack. 
it does look kind of like the arcade. Well, no, it's a full casino. So maybe let's look up casino. It's not an arcade. $25. There it is. Ooh, this is a good one. See this cool factory setting you get to explore? Yeah, that's actually a free asset pack. Looks really nice, doesn't it? Unreal does make it easy. You can even see the IT office group. It is exactly this. And here's the, here's the danger with this, is that he's not changing anything about the scene. He's loading up the demo maps, which are included when you add the pack to your project. They're already included. He's not setting these up. You know, if you buy assets, you could argue, okay, you buy an asset pack, you have to make the environment. He's taking the demo environments in almost every case and just adding some new things to it, adding some characters to it that he's buying separately. It is the most minimal amount of work and does not indicate that there's any gameplay here. I don't even know what to search to, to find this one, to be honest. Some of these are, would be harder to find. Cyberpunk, I mean a club that could have been the same Cyberpunk mega pack. You never know. Cyberpunk bar. There's so many interiors. Space bar, maybe. Doesn't really look the same though. No, 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 no. That's not it. The problem is, it, you know, if it's not shown here, then it won't be part of this pack. But you never know. No, I don't see it here. Um, Cyberpunk environment, modular with interiors. Although I assume that this includes it. This has it includes modular cyberpunk environment. Cyberpunk City. There could be some of the, that from that because that's a different pack. Yeah, this looks like it was pulled for some of the alleyway scenes. Very grimy. Good packs. Again, very great, great looking packs. And yeah, it doesn't seem to be where our bar is from, though. Same with that one. Nightclub. I don't think it was nightclub specifically. Look, it's somewhere. At this point, I hope that my, my argument has earned enough validity that it's at least thrown a, a, a wrench into it, that where you're, where you're starting to doubt whether any of this was made by hand. And uh, this is just a um, zooming down the street in the, um, on that, that mega pack. That's just telling the same, that's just telling the character to do the same pose. That's. Again, this is this can all be mocked up pretty quickly. And even these camera shots are really nothing special, right? They're just usually just straight shots. This, again, this is one of those cases where I think players will look at it and say, oh my god, cool, a dialogue system. Except it's it's not. There's no actual dialogue happening here. It's just a pop-up. I could have this in 20 minutes. Interact with the character, have a screen pop-up that says these things. It doesn't have to be interactable, because I don't see it being interactable. No problem at all. Explicit 18 plus. I mean, maybe that's why people are supporting it. We know why it has $91,000, right? <laughs> I promise this doesn't mean anything anyway. He's just going to buy more assets for you. Acid pack booba.
Subway. Okay, so I think I know the space environment. I think I have it for free. Let me see if I can find it. We had this um, subway, like abandoned, before and after station. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of ruined subways. Subway tunnel. If I wasn't recording this to throw up on YouTube unedited, maybe I would take take a, a second to look. And if people want that, I can probably track down all these assets used. Um, Sci-fi would be an environment. I know I got it for free. It might have been this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was exactly this one. Which is what's on display here. Can we see? Okay, this is exactly the... Actually, this is exactly the shot that we see here. That was a free asset in the store uh, a few months ago. See this uh, smaller bunker. I don't know if you need proof of it. You can see that the tower up in the distance and some shit by the stairs here and some shit in the, uh, the walkway there. Things by stairs, shit in the walkway. Again, these are demo maps that are included when you add the asset pack to your game. All he's doing is walking around them and recording footage and saying it's his game. Look at how many environments you can explore. But there's nothing there. Now I'm going to cut out the, the, the rest of the video because... <laughs> yeah, he says this, an uncompromising passion project from one man. And then he goes into a lengthy speech about how he should be trusted and how this isn't a scam uh, because he's released some games before. None of them, uh, note, have been this expansive this 3d i can't show them they're not safe for work games but uh, if you want look up the uh, memory of eternity llc i think you'll find the games on steam there and they're mostly 2.5d games or 2d games made in i think one of his original ones was made in rpg maker this is i hesitate to say a scam although i use that word on my kickstarter reviews I do believe this. This is not a game. There's nothing interactable here. And the things that are actually playable, such as the, the combat system, what have you, it's all fate. You can track down almost every single shot to an asset pack. And even the ones that I couldn't do on stream here. And again, I'm just recording it. I'm not editing this. I'm doing this off the cuff. You're, you're looking at me, look for these things minute to minute and even the things that i couldn't track down i promise given enough time given enough patience you'll track them down they'll be there just look carefully and pretty much all these will come to to fruition i think this is a scam simply because there is no game there's not even there's a bare concept of a game here there's not really anything to show for it and these features mean nothing unless they're in the game and tested and I know that my expectations for developers are pretty high because I'm a developer myself. But the moment you, you show me an asset pack in the first few seconds that I know is purchased, you automatically trigger a red flag for me. That you're saying this, you're not saying anything about an asset pack. You're not saying anything about these being purchased. You are simply selling this as your game, as your product and not even mentioning that you have sourced all of these things from asset packs. This is how the day before was made. This is how people were scammed with the day before. It's happening again. And if you want another game, the quality of the day before, sure, go support this. I'd love to be wrong. I would love for this to have all the features that are promised because it'll mean that the players have another great game to play. But if I'm not wrong, 1,186 backers are getting scammed or at least taken advantage of and being misled. And maybe that's a better way to put it because I know this is going to bring down the, the ire of the developer if he ever sees it. Um, I implore you, Daniel, from New Haven, Connecticut, if you want to prove yourself wrong, I will absolutely have the game you can come on my stream, we can talk about it, we can talk about what you have completed. Maybe you want to tell players that this is 
mostly, if not entirely, sourced from asset packs. We can talk about that. But until you do that, I'm just reading what I'm seeing. I'm being asked, because I look at Kickstarters, I like to back Kickstarters, I'm being asked to, to pay money to something that I know is not a game. It's barely even a concept, because you haven't even described the gameplay loop to me yet. And it's just filled with asset pack footage. That's it. So that's it for, for my video. Just want to let people know that Vampire Syndicate, buyer beware. Know what you are purchasing. It is not a game. And just because the developer has made games before does not mean that they can make this one. This is a highly ambitious project that based on the features and based on my knowledge of game production, I've been in the industry for over 10 years and budgeting would take millions of dollars to make. If, especially if you wanted to replace all these asset packs with uh, handmade assets, which I would argue that would probably be a good thing, considering that they are they don't mesh well together. They're visible in other games. Anybody who, who can buy the three hundred fifty dollars sci-fi or this modular, you know, sci-fi indoor outdoor environment pack. This was seventy bucks. This was free, by the way. I have this. I own this. Anybody can do this. So if you want a truly unique handcrafted game this is not it and if you wanted to do that it would cost millions of dollars over the course of many many years for one developer to try to do this just note would take easily five to ten years minimum minimum and at that point you would be lucky if you got a half-baked fairly stable running game because having all these things in the game requires optimization and no one person can optimize all the code, all of the art themselves, at this quality, at this scale, in this large of a game. Not happening. Fire, beware, Vampire Syndicate. Thank you.